Russian drone resembling the Shahed. Russia is deploying a new model of unmanned aerial vehicle that looks similar to the Shahed-136 Kamikaze drones, but serves a fundamentally different purpose – reconnaissance and target acquisition. The new UAV operates at an altitude of 1 to 3 kilometers, is equipped with an analog video transmitter capable of sending images over 50 kilometers, and is controlled via the ELRS protocol. Intercepted footage shows instability during flight. The drone wobbles, indicating it may still be in an experimental or makeshift stage of development. The drone's main function is to support larger Shahed strike missions. Specifically, it is used to monitor drone ingress routes, detect active air defense positions, and assess strike effectiveness in real time. In this way, Russian forces are trying to address the main weakness of the Shahed, the lack of a return communication channel and limited capacity for in-flight correction. This drone is just one part of a broader trend in rethinking the concept of drone swarms. Recent reports have described the use of a Shahed with a camera and direct control system powered by machine vision algorithms with an operational range of up to 150 kilometers. Additionally, a new jet-powered version has been spotted, likely the Garon 3, which shares visual characteristics with the original Shahed but offers significantly higher speed. Amid rapid production scaling at the Alabuga facility, with expected staff increases to 50,000, reportedly including North Korean laborers, the push for standardized designs with expanded tactical roles appears to be a deliberate strategy. The Kremlin is investing in a comprehensive system of multi-role UAVs, from decoys and signal repeaters to precision strike drones capable of operating in environments saturated with electronic warfare and dense air defense. Currently, massive Shahed swarms are evolving from one-way strike drones into networked systems with functional differentiation, surveillance, detection, attack, and assessment. This evolution demands new countermeasures that go beyond interception and aim to disrupt the very logic of the drone network itself.